that's right, restoration video. Hey guys, so in today's video, um, we're going to be doing a restoration to this Dell Inspiron 3647. And in this video, we're going to be upgrading to a inland from a 1TB hard drive. Uh, I'm not sure what what type, like, the specifications of, it's a 1TB hard drive, unknown, uh, everything else. Um, to this inland 120 gig professional and we're going to be applying some new paste now the reason why I have two is this one's almost out and I want to use the rest of that and I have this just in case so let's first just okay let's see we need a screwdriver I misplaced my I fixed it so yeah otherwise I'd be using that get these screws off okay so you need to have it on the right side so i'm gonna try to get this unfortunately i misplaced my tripod so i'm gonna have to do like this so i'm just gonna take off these two screws so i'm just gonna pause it all right now that i took out the two screws i'm gonna pull this and here's what first looks like so we need to let's first let's first remove this so i'm going to first take this i'm actually going to be removing the optical drive so i need to first remove the optical drive all right so we need to first remove this panel right here because that's why I, I watched a video before doing this so I know how to do it so I need to first unscrew the screw right here so let's go ahead and do that and I think it can come out I think well I need to first yeah let's pull this out you should just pull up I think then you unplug the, the SATA cables. I think it. Oh, there's a screw. There's a screw right here and right here, so removed. So, um, I'm going to set this. I'm going to remove these four screws, and I'm going to remove the hard drive screws. Screw the optical drive, so we should yep, we should just slide it out. And there it is. So I'm just gonna set this over here. Um, so I'm just going to move these screws right here. And I'm going to, so I'm going to remove these, those two screws that you can see, and then the two screws right here. So, so we can just move this up. So let's just see real quick before we put the SSD in its place. So it's a Seagate uh, one terabyte. Um, oh, it's a 7200 RPM. So that'll focus. And so 7200 RPM, hmm. So I'm just going to, I'm just gonna have the hard drive. I'm not even gonna bother mounting it. Let's get the SSD unboxed. So, let me grab my knife. Oh, we'll try to show the box. This. So, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put one screw in as... This is a 2.5 inch hard drive. And, yeah. So, let me just set this down over here. Actually, I should move it over here. Whoa. So I'm going to set that right there and we're going to move these screws right here because so I'm going to take, I'm going to do a bit on each side just so that way I don't damage it. Got to be careful and I got to pay more attention to the I'm, I'm just gonna just do this off camera. I'm just gonna unscrew it and pull out the cable, so yeah. All right guys, so it's, it's, it looks pretty crusty, so what I'm going to do, 
Okay, so we're going to just do this. I'm going to do the same thing for the CPU. Get all the crusty thermal paste off. I think I got it off for like the most part. Or not. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the hard drive. I mean, not the hard drive, the actual CPU itself. So I'm just going to stop this, and I'll just do this off camera. As you've seen me do it before on, like, the other 58, so... Basically, just, uh, just wipe it off, and you just dab it on, and just put it like a dot, and you just put it out, so yeah. Alright, guys, so basically, I got, I got this thing to work. Um, so I got this stuff plugged in. I basically just did it in reverse. So, um, so I basically can't have, I, I, with the SSD, um, I can't, if I put it, so the screw's not all the way in because SSDs have like weird, like can only go in so far and I might break the, the uh, thing, the mounting bracket if I screw it even more, like I did on the 620 by accident. So what we do, what, oh, I forgot. So why I, I, I almost forgot to put in the case screws, the screws up here. I need to do a screw right here. So I'm going to stop the video while I do that. All right guys, so I plugged in the computer. What I just turned it on and well, let's go to the BIOS. So yeah. All right, let's see, is it detected? Yes, it detects the SATA SSD and it also detects the hard drive. So what did I do? Oh yeah, it's right here. So in right here is my Ventoy. So we're going to, we're going to get the, so what we need to do is we need to go into, we need to go and disable secure boot because for some reason we need to, um, no. Make Windows Boot Manager that. Next is um USB storage. Then um TXE disabled. So let's get out of there. Let's exit saving changes. So we're going to boot now. We're going to boot to my Ventoy. All right, take two. So let's boot to the, let's try to boot to the USB now again. Let's boot into UEFI this time, let's hope. I don't know why it's saying that, but I think it would have booted. I think it's gonna boot in. What? Why is it not booting? If I have to, I'll go make a Rufus USB. Invalid image. Okay, yeah, guys, I'm gonna go make a Rufus USB, so I'll be back. All right, guys, so I just made a Rufus. Actually, I just used a hard drive because it would probably boot up, it would probably work a lot faster. So I just ended up using a hard drive and I didn't wanna wait like all day. I don't think it's being detected by the computer, so let me just restart. Sure. It's just being stupid. 
stupid. Because it should be able to find it. There it goes. So I'm just gonna use this to install because I don't have all day. So we're going to first. So the hard drive actually just has a fresh install Windows 10, which one it's just how I got it. So all I did was boot to it and just to see if I had a wireless driver. And then I just shut it off and I started making this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do next install now. I'm not going to install using the commands as I just want to install Windows regularly, like how you typically would. So set up is starting. I'm going to accept next custom. Now I'm just going to go ahead and delete so you can see the dry right there. I'm just going to delete these partitions and I'm going to do a disk part clean. So delete it. I mean, I should probably just do a disk part clean, call it. All right, so I'm going to shift up 10. I'm also going to wipe the SSD. So. both the drives. This two is probably just the SSD card. So I'm gonna first format the SSD first and then I'm going to format the hard drive. I just made it this the letter C, but I probably won't do that in Windows. So I already made a partition on the hard drive. So right there. So we're going to do new, apply and OK. So it'll, it'll just make its partitions like Windows it should. I can't remember that for a And we're going to install on uh, drive zero, partition four, next. So now it's going to be installing Windows and so basically this image that I have is a little bit more up to date. I mean, there's, I think this is gonna be like, cause I did it some testing and it has like 80 updates that I have to do still, but it's still better than having to do like basically 200, like 100, basically just say 200 updates. So I'm just gonna let this install and I will come back when, you know, when it, uh, when, we get to the autobox experience to save time so yeah all right guys so we're almost to the autobox experience so it's doing its thing all right so um I'm going to make it this blue because I like that. So I'm going to give it a computer name. So with any of my computers, I name it I name it Zach Dash and then for like Dell computers since since they I put the last the, the numbers so as the computer name, so that's typically why I do. So I'm gonna do next. Um I'm going to customize. Now I'm not gonna set up updates. And my phone's a little on battery. I need to hurry this, so I'm just gonna turn all these off because I don't need, I don't like this crap. And I will do updates later. I'll do that off camera. So since this is not going on the domain, I'm just gonna put Zach since I'm not putting it on the domain. My phone's dying really fast, so basically I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna get the drivers for the computer. So because my phone's at 20%, it was like. It wasn't at that like, this was like 28 like a few like a minute or two ago, maybe three. Now it's already down to 20. So let's start. Now that's kind of sad, but we're going to basically I'll just show you guys. I'll send a picture. I'll show a picture about now, but I'm just gonna copy our Snappy Driver installer. I'm gonna hook up Ethernet quick. Hopefully it has a, um, hopefully by default it has a, uh, like a basic driver for the Ethernet, but, let's see, plug that in, 
right? So it's asking about, um, sure, why not? So we're going to do that. We need to install. Yes, I allow that. Uh, I'm just going to do indexes only. I need to hurry this. So I plugged in the ethernet. Let's see what drivers are missing. How many they are. We're missing, I'd say three drivers. Four, because the network, well the audio on this for some reason isn't working. Missing the SM bus, we're missing this, and we're missing the wireless driver. But, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'll show you guys, and then, hold on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them. Um, I really should enable system restore points because I've had a one time crash a computer because it didn't like the driver. So what I, I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to enable system protection and give it 10%. I'm going to close that and we're going to reopen it so that way it can detect that I have system restore points enabled. Now I'm doing this just to take safety precautions as I have, it has crashed it has made it has crashed a computer doing this so um i'm just going to uncheck the sata because that is the thing that that like crashes like all my computers anyways that's gonna wrap up today's video um basically i'm just gonna let it get the drivers i'm gonna do all the setup and updates and everything off camera thank you guys for watching comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye for now